talk to Potkin Azamir. He's an Iranian blogger. Thank you very much for joining us. What do you blog about when you are talking about the country? Do you think this dissatisfaction is just an urban phenomenon? Well, uh, just let me just comment on the uh, on the uh, report that was just shown. I mean, this is a classic case of an anecdote and talking to one family uh, replacing a scientific study. The fact is that we haven't got a scientific poll to really gauge the uh, level of support for uh, Ahmadinejad in the rural areas. Uh, but if we look objectively at, at the figures that are produced by the government, uh, when we talk about 70% of the Iranian population living now in the cities because of the huge migration from the rural areas to the cities, because the rural economy has just been destroyed, uh, the uh, uh, rural agriculture is, is, is just no, no longer able to compete with the imports uh, that are being brought to the country by the subsidiaries of the Revolutionary Guards. Uh, uh, I think we can then uh, make a more objective assessment that even in the rural areas, we can't be certain that there is that much support for Ahmadinejad. For sure, the government uh, has bribed a section of the population. I mean, that's always the case. I mean, Ceausescu uh, did the same thing, the communists did the same thing, the Nazis did the same thing. For sure, a section of the rural area has been bribed uh, by cheap loans or uh, by other uh, uh, handouts, but that doesn't extrapolate into the majority of the rural areas being supporters of Ahmadinejad. There is a myth being propagated that the, the dissent against Ahmadinejad is by the middle class, by the affluent people, and the support for Ahmadinejad is amongst the working classes and the uh, uh, rural areas and that. And um, this myth is actually being propagated by either a fifth uh, a richest MP in Britain uh, or by uh, uh, self-hating rich kids who become Marxists while they're students. Uh, let me give you an example. They, 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 one of the reasons they, they think that this is just an urban thing and it's like the uh, uh, affluent parts of the cities which are uh, taking part in the protests is because of where the locations of the protests are. Now, traditionally in Iran, there are certain locations where are hot spots for protests. So if, if, if you think that today is going to be a reason for protests and a lot of people will be protesting, you go to those locations, you see each other, and when you have strength in numbers, you start the protest. And to give an analogy to that, uh, in England, for example, the, the protests are normally from Speaker's Corner, from Hyde Park, going to Trafalgar Square. It doesn't mean that people that took part in the poll tax riots were Trafalgar Square residents. Okay. So uh, we have to take things in perspective. Okay, so the opposition leader, Musavi has called for demonstrations on the 11th of February. That's the final day of Fajr. Do you think uh, this will be taken up countrywide or will it just happen in those um, areas that he knows it'll happen every single year? Every single time he calls on people to demonstrate, it'll happen there again? You it will be widespread, but you can't expect demonstrations in very, very small towns or in villages. Obviously, then it's easier for people to become identified. Uh, uh, just the, uh, uh, the figures about the population suggest that you can't have a large demonstration in a, in a rural area. But let's look at this at another angle. I mean, recently the, uh, the government tried to have some pro-government rallies. First of all, they tried to have it in all the other towns except for Tehran. And then one specific day, they concentrated on Tehran, where they managed to even bring some of their supporters from these rural areas that you're talking about, from these other cities. Um, so everything was concentrated on Tehran. And no one can put their hand on their heart and tell me that they managed to bring in more than 100,000 people. Now, they were being given food parcels. They were uh, handed out cakes, drinks in that, in, in, in that rally. We saw the footage of that. Um, and, you know, there was no danger for them. The Green Movement wasn't going to shoot them or anything like that. So despite all those facts and uh, the, 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 the largest crowd they could bring out, at the maximum, you could say it was about 100,000, and in, uh, you know, most realistic figures, even less than that. That okay. is how much the level of support for, the, for Ahmadinejad and the government and the Supreme Leader, that's the sort of collapse that we're talking about. Okay, Potkin Azmir, let's leave it there. Thanks for your opinions. Well,